I'm probably within a month to six weeks of getting my shop finished. And it, it's brand new. And he is one that I have seen that appears to be turning in a plastic room, so to speak. In other words, to try and control the dust from going elsewhere. Are there other people that are also doing that? And how advantageous is it to where, is it something that I, at this point, it would not be that hard for me to design into uh, some minor framing to allow, say, a, a plastic wall behind me and beside me. Uh, do people uh, find that advantageous or is it a, Dean, pretty much Dean a waste Grimes of time? Has, Dean Grimes has a similar setup that I know of. All right. I, I had look, that at one time in my other shop. Yeah, look behind me and see what I've got covering up my workbench. So the shavings, because uh, the shavings will go over my shoulder. So I, I, I've got material hanging up behind me in my shop. Yeah, yeah uh, the biggest benefit is uh, limiting how far the shavings travel. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily the dust so much, but uh, yeah. just keeping the majority of shavings contained into a smaller area so you're not having to sweep them off all your workbenches and everything like that. And That's why I got the material up behind me is because I kept finding shavings on my workbench and I was all constantly having to clean them off. Yeah. So I hung up right. material and it works great now. Uh, look, directly behind, look directly behind Dean. Do you see that rod and those rings yeah. and that curtain right. back there? All right. <laughs> Let's make that rod right there a piece of one half inch lightweight tubing from the from the hard from the electric shop. Okay, got that. Next, the Rings Home Depot. Are you gonna say where where where's Home Depot got that? The same place they have shower curtains. That's what I was worried this, about. Is shower curtain I, I, arrangement. I had them. It gave me a six foot long Every piece, night. and I could slide it back and forth on that rod. It didn't weigh enough to pull it down, and from the, where it was at to the floor. Uh, to, to below knee level was perfect to keep the shavings. <laughs> My problem would keep them off anything. It was the fines that would get in the air, go over to where the bolts, nuts, screws, clips, and all that was sitting there, and it was climate controlled and rusting. So think about shower curtains. Get a cheap one at, at, at Walmart and play with that, the stick, and you might be surprised at how well it'll work. I have eleven foot. I have eleven foot ceilings, and I, I did the same thing in my shop. If you look at my past demos, uh, you can see it. Uh, you spotlight me. Um, so I've got I've got eleven foot ten or eleven foot ceilings. So I put a, a painter's plastic behind me with a like a, a one by two into the into the ceiling rafters and sealed it on the edges. So. Uh, my shop is all sealed from the rest of the. I'm, my shop's in the garage. Helps keep it warm. Too, helps keep the heat in. Um, but the problem with the shower curtains is you still have an open space for dust and, and like Eddie said, fine particles and fine shavings can get yeah, out. Just not long enough. Yeah, and they're not long enough. So you know, unless you're in a you know in a in a space with a with a short ceiling, you know, where your ceiling is only a, a foot above your head or something, then. You know, you're gonna have to use something else. Yeah, I've got I did a video and, and it's up. I used uh, PVC frames and plastic uh, that, well, you used to see people use a lot of it to cover their tables with. You can pick it up at Walmart or just about anywhere. And uh, you can make them to the size you want. I saw in the chat, Gary from Oklahoma had a question. Um, what was your question? I just saw it in the chat here as I. I think he's talking about the plastic that you have in your shop along the walls. To try and contain uh, chips and all of that, how valuable did you find it? Or how valuable do you find it? How important is it? Oh, okay. Um, what it is, is it, it's, um, take care, happy new year. Um, 
it's a vapor barrier plastic that you get at your hardware store. They use it when they build your house and they put yeah. the vapor barrier in between the walls. I went to Home Depot and I bought a roll. And the roll is, I don't know, meters and meters, probably 100 meters long. And it's actually double wrapped. So when you cut it, it's folded. So it's not just six feet, it's actually 12 feet tall. And then it's something like 100 meters or 100 yards long. So I mean, once you get a roll, you have vapor barrier for a lifetime. <laughs> and I vapor barriered my ceiling, so nothing went in the ductwork or in my furnace. I vapor barriered my shelves, um, so I didn't have to constantly clean uh, wood chips and dust off my shelves. Now I get minimal dust on my shelves, but at least I'm not having to clean the the wood chips off the shelves every time I turn my lathe on. And then also I have some that go around the side of my um, some that go around the side of my uh, lathe room because on the other side of the plastic, I have um, a drill press, a chop saw, a sliding miter saw, band saw, uh, sanders, disc sanders, wood shapers, routers, and stuff. So I don't want them getting covered in wood chips either. But also in behind that plastic, I have two general VS Plus lays for my students. So I'm not filling their workspace either. If I'm working while they're working, and then we just pull the plastic back and then we can continue to work and we're not shooting each other with wood chips. But also in the doorway to my shop, I have a double plastic barrier with probably a foot in between, similar to like the butcher plastic doors where you go through two layers of plastic and the first plastic keeps the chips within and the second plastic minimizes the dust that gets out into my basement because behind that wall, I have my furnace, but I also framed in a spray booth and a finishing room. So I don't want ample amounts of dust to get in behind there either on my pieces that are being finished or sprayed or, or in my furnace either in throughout my house and my son breathing it either. So that's sort of the setup I have, but yeah, uh, vapor barrier plastic from Home Depot, Home Hardware, Rose, Lowe's, you. Roma. You can get it at any one of those places. Thank you. And you can much. buy it by the sheet or by the roll. I bought it by the roll just so I didn't have limited space where I had to tape sheet to sheet. The sheets are stapled to the joists and they free fall to the floor. So I have no separation and I don't have to tape anything together. Okay, good. Appreciate Thank you, Kate. Thank you. What do you do no with problem. the dust, Kate? How do you, you have a filter, you uh, blow it outside, what, you know, suck it and blow it outside. What do you do? Uh, I have a dust collection system with a hose and a hood mm -hmm. that comes in front of my lathe. I use occasionally. Uh, but for the most part, I'm in a sealed space within plastic. So I always wear a respirator because dust and lungs don't mix. Um, but I have a couple air scrubbers. So I have a handy little shop job mate um, um, air scrubber with a filter on the inside. So when I'm done, or if I'm doing a really dusty wood, I would actually set that in the corner, turn it on, and it will scrub the dust that's within the air. Um, I also have one on the ceiling. So I can set one at one room. I have the one on the ceiling and I can turn them on. They're on timers too. So they come on between two and three and they run uh, whether I'm in the shop or not. But I can also turn them on and leave them on um, after a really dusty workday. So it really scrubs and cleans the air within the room itself. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm not using the dust collector, but sometimes I use all three. So, and it works well. It seems to work well for me in my smallish confined area. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. 